Hey, Gaming X for XP here, I'm giving you a little bit of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. This game's out in March, I think, and thanks to Ubisoft for in including me in the beta, closed beta program and giving me early access. So I thought I'd just run you through the, the UI today and just get you familiar with, with uh, how it looks and how it works. I'm pretty impressed by the game so far, it's a huge open world and we've only been given access to a very limited um, part of it and you'll see that in, in, in a little bit so this is the launch screen you can do you can run a solo campaign if you like or you can go and join a public match and play with the uh, three other players and you can see they recommend a couple of players for me um, the top right of the screen is a notification center pretty easy to bring up um, and there's various things, as you can see, just, just under the launch button, there's various elements there to people that you've played with, um, etc. So pretty nice, pretty straightforward. We'll launch the game now. And see what else we can find. So the overall looks pretty nice. This is restarting the mission, so I'm going to go into the UI in a second, but this is just a save point. So we start with the map see it's a pretty big map so sorry we'll go to lobby first wrong so there's some public matches and I guess you can you can have your private matches there too in the lobby the maps pretty pretty standard zoom in zoom out lots of little icons on the board but the good thing is that when you hover your mouse over the icon and we'll see in a second you can see how big the map is and we're restricted to this Parts. But you, when you um, hover your mouse over the the um, icons, it will give you just a quick little spiel about it. And um, this is a mission, so it gives you a little bit more information. Yep. Intel caches. Very nice. Very easy to follow. Um, very very simple thing. And skill points are are good, and you'll see the skill trees fairly shortly. Um, Kingslayer, I didn't know what the Kingslayer um, files were, so I, was, I will open that in a sec. But first of all, here's the, the missions. Various missions, there's six missions in this particular uh, part of the map. And you just go through and you get a little bit of an explanation there. Um, and what they are. Kingslayer files. And these are really just um, things that you'll find as you wander around the, the world and during the missions. It just launches videos and various things. I'm gonna let you there see too much there. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. That's at the very start of the game anyway, so you'll see that. So back to the map. So here's the skill trees. Weapon, drone, item, physical, squad and rebel support. And... Um, these rebel support you can open with the menus. The rest are all skill trees where you get skill points and build each tree as you, as you require. Obviously, you know, with the squad, it's you know the speed and resilience. The nice thing is that if you go up through the trees, it gives you a little bit of an explanation there on each uh, each uh, different skills. And obviously, you have to go to certain level of um, before you can unlock some of these. Physical is about you know, the stamina and damage, various things like that. Items like binocular zoom is one I'll, I'll definitely um, be upgrading. Parachute I haven't got to yet, so that's interesting. Drone, you have a drone that you can fly around, and obviously there's a whole lot of things you can upgrade there, and then obviously the weapons, you know, things like ammo capacity and stable aim and stuff like that. Pretty nice, so go to the, the weapons loadout screen, and this is where you upgrade your weapons. We'll go with the assault rifle because I've, I've gained some upgrades for it. Um, and we'll get into that in a sec. So the P416 assault rifle, go to gunsmith, and we'll go to parts, and you can see it tells, shows it, it breaks down all the parts. I've got a new scope that I want to add, so we'll go into scopes in a second. Um, and it gives you a nice little interface, a, 
showing you if you put this scope on or that part on and the improvement or the decrease that it's going to give you um, so obviously that's going to give you a better, bit better range and more accuracy uh, compared to the scope you've got now yep so we'll try that in the next playthrough we'll just go through and have a look at all the different scopes that we're we can get and what they do if you want to spend time in here and everything's upgradable which is quite nice you know the magazine size I will come back and do the muzzle in a second there we go down we go click and again it tell you what improvement you're going to get So we all say like that. Pretty nice. And then uh, oh, there's also an option to um, customize the paint. And they're quite nice. I'll go with the tan version here, which is um, looks pretty nice. I don't know what randomized paints are. I haven't gone into that yet. So I'll, I'll maybe update you in a further video. Now here I had a few dramas trying to select the next weapon in my loadout for some reason. Um, here's the character, you can actually customize the character and I will give him a new look in a sec. Just takes a bit of time for these to load. That one looks pretty nice there. whole lot of options there you know you eyewear that you can get some more clays and whatnot headwear and all kinds of stuff there so here's where i flick at the menu this is your um ghost profile I guess that's your combat record and you can see it's a pretty nice little interface pretty simple gives you some stats if you're into the stats i do i do like stats myself so Yep, and this is here where I'm struggling to, to upgrade the second weapon in my loadout. So I'll go from back into the thing. I don't know why, it's probably me, not the game. It's probably a way of doing that. This is pretty nice little sniper rifle. And we're just going to go through the same kind of process as we did previously. Look at the various scopes that you can get and what they do and what improvement you're going to get. Maybe give this a little bit of a paint job. Maybe we'll go all green this time. And finally the factions st states and you can spend some time if you want to pause the video and read through these um, the different factions both on your side which is the rebel forces and then uh, the enemies Santa Blanca cartel and you need add forces so not a lot to that it's uh, it's pretty straightforward um, if you've played Far Cry or Assassin's Creed or any of the open world games these menus will be pretty familiar to you um, I think there's a nice mix in all the different options that you have um, and it should keep you busy for a while so thanks for watching guys, um, if you like this leave a comment or a like down, down below, flashbang maybe, here we go, Frag out. Get some. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you later.